This is a video showing two wireless fire alarm systems we stored in residential apartments at Lloyd's Wharf. There's two blocks A and B, so we'll go through the first wireless fire alarm in building one. This is the open courtyard, and uh, you can see the brickwork, etc. There's three blocks, and each block has about six apartments. Following the fire risk assessment, it was decided they should have a fire alarm protecting the communal areas. As we go into block one, you'll see on the left hand side we've got our wireless addressable fire alarm panel. It's uh, good to be using addressable because it shows you the indication of the activated device straight away, cutting down your seek and search time. Beneath the panel was a wireless call point. And as you're looking at the video, you can see the the outlook of the building structure. And uh, if you're considering running cables or wires, because there's no voids and uh, limited risers, etc., there's a wireless wall sounder. And underneath the arch there, you can see on the left above the door is the wireless translator. The translator logs on all the wireless detectors and call points and sanders. You can have 32 in total per device but it will be upgraded to 128. That's above the ceiling there is the wireless detector. As you can see the wireless system installed has not downgraded the interior of the building. You can see it's a they're lovely apartments with all the timber frame um, beams. The residents, when they decided they needed a fire alarm, did not want any cables on show. There's more beams, etc. And uh, our detectors are equally spaced along the corridor. If you had to wire this using your conventional wiring methods, using trunking, you can see it would basically make a mess of these apartments. The residents and the managing agents were very pleased with the outcome. On the ceiling there you can see a wireless smoke detector with the base sander. And on the left you've got the manual call point. The installation took us about a day. Again above the door as we showed earlier is the translator and that translator basically talks to all the detectors. Now we're going over to building number two through the courtyard and we've got the second installation because the managing agents were very pleased with the block number one. As we go down the corridor again you'll see as we enter into the escape route at the above there you've got the wireless smoke detector and the base sander. On the right we've got the addressable Kentec one loop wireless hybrid panel and below that we've got the manual call point. LCD display and as stated earlier the, address the addressable systems give you the text message of the activated device straight away which cuts down so you can search. Again look at the neat uh, presentation of that detector no cabling. Very neat installation. We were um, unable to get access to this, these lobbies as they're locked. Only the residents seem to have a key at the time. So we just put the camera through the, the window. You can see the detector within the lobby. The detector also has a base sounder. As you go up the stairs, there's the radio translator. From those translators we use our laptop and software to ensure all the signal strengths are at the correct signal strength in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. At the top of the stairs we have a wireless smoke detector. Through that door is the residence lobby escape route area and in behind that door which is locked we've got a another wireless detector and the wireless base sander. The systems were only designed to protect 
the communal escape routes as required by the risk assessment. There's no cabling. And if you were going to use cabling, again, you could see it would make the place look um, really unsightly. So that's a brief look at the two wireless systems that we've installed. If you need any more information regarding wireless fire alarm systems, why not contact our office on 0208 541 